Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Love Island USA fans are requesting that host, Ariana Medix's chest scar stay unedited. On the show, it's anything but an issue yet in the promotion pics. There is no proof it at any point existed. This could not have possibly been an issue for watchers had the scar not been a crucial piece of Ariana's life and have recounted such a significant story. All in all, what is behind her Photoshop scar? Continue to peruse for additional subtleties. Love Island fans request Ariana Medix's chest scar stay unedited. It was a fantasy for Ariana Medix to have Love Island. Truth be told, she just at any point needed an accomplice who might marathon watch the hit reality series with her. Basically, it was her main avenue for affection. At the point when she and her dearest companions would enjoy the show, they kid about her being the host one day. In season five, Ariana showed up, and when Sarah Hillen had a planning struggle for season six, the decision was clear. Ariana was picked as the new host and watchers love her. However, she isn't on the show frequently. When she shows up, she makes some meaningful difference. Ariana appears in executioner outfits, astounding hair, and sets the manor ablaze. Nonetheless, there's one thing that has unsettled Watcher's otherwise calm disposition. Ariana had melanoma on her chest, and when it was eliminated, it left a scar. In some promotion photographs for the show, the scar has been altered out. Fans could do without this as they feel it is crucial to what Ariana's identity is and recounts an astounding story. A Reddit string was before long begun to address this as the overpowered composed. Her story is so significant. I wish they wouldn't alter out her scar in these promotion photographs. All in all, how did different fans feel? They altered all the other things, so why not haha? <laughs> Simply Love Island chimes. I had barely any familiarity with her scar. Ariana is a goddess. It's so bizarre the way that this was never referenced on VPR. Okay, yet her face. Fill it or Photoshop? Perhaps she needed it. Some Ariana Medix fans had no clue about the melanoma or the scar. They asked why this was not a greater plot point on Vanderpump Rules, particularly since Ariana was so open about her body weaknesses and how she would cover herself in cosmetics prior to going to the ocean side. Be that as it may, some doubted assuming she requested the scar to be covered or altered. Thus, perhaps it was an individual decision and everybody is hammering creation. Eventually, she looks astonishing and this post is simply bringing issues to light about what she went through. Heavily, it can act as a reminder. Did you know that Ariana Medix had a melanoma scar on her chest? All the more anyway, do you suppose she requested it to be covered or was it another person's doing? Tell us and watch Love Island USA oh, spilling on pummeled Pico. Ariana Medix as the laziest F-ruler individual as the exes keep on sharing a home after their split. Sandoval vented to his Vanderpump Rules, co-stars Tom Schwartz and Kyle Chan, that he does everything in the house, including getting after Medix's feline. Ariana doesn't do a goddamn F ruler thing in the house. I don't actually have the foggiest idea how her butt gets cleaned. She's so goddamn ruler languid, he said during Peacock's drawn out variant of the current week's Siphon Rules episode. Sandoval went on, blustering that he cleaned the litter box and supplanted the whole thing. It had an F-Lord 12S in that. It gets F-Lord irritating to have her discussion S about me being a sure way when she is in a real sense the laziest F-Ruler individual. Sandoval, 41, told his buddies, During the ordinary episode that broadcasted Wednesday night, he denounced medics, 38, of not cleaning her feline's litter in two years. The contention swelled into her blaming him for once attempting to kill her canine, Maya, by securing her in her room where she ingested wooden sticks that were in a take-up compartment. 
The pressure between the exes was high this week. However, their horrible day-to-day -day environment may before long be finished. In Walk, an insider told Page Six that Medix, 38, bought a $1.6 million house in Hollywood Slopes. Ariana has become hopelessly enamored with this home and is invigorated for another part. The source unveiled. Her looming move comes as she fights it out with Sandoval more than the $2 million home they bought in 2019, despite everything Cher following his a stunning issue with their co-star Raquel Levis. In January, Maddox sued the artist to drive the offer of their common house and split the returns, However, he denied her bid the next month. During an episode of Vanderump Rules that circulated in February, Sandoval asserted Medix had quit taking care of their bills for the home. My financial balance was in a real sense overdrawn. Man, Ariana hadn't covered any of the bills for, similar to, F. Lord, eight months. Man, he said, I've been essentially paying for everything out of the entirety of my records. Contract, landscaper, cleaning, utilities, everything, he further asserted. It's similar to pulling teeth to get Ariana to repay me. Likewise, he blamed Medix, who is presently featuring as Roxy Hart in the melodic recovery of Chicago, of dawdling with tracking down another spot to live during the reward scene from the current week's episode. Ariana's truly occupied, he yielded. She has a ton of things in progress. I believe they're flying her to the moon the day after she meets the Pope. So I'm certain it's a ton for her to deal with house hunting, yet have it on record that she doesn't need the house. So she's in a real sense just battling me on it Maloney in a spirit was of one of only a handful of exceptional Vanderpump Rules stars who finished the season 11 get together on the right half of history. Lala Kent and Shanna Shane might have betrayed Ariana Medix. However, Katie is a young lady's young lady completely. Katie stuck behind Ariana regardless, which is quite simple to do thinking of her as position in the scandal bowl. All things considered, Katie and Lala were having issues a long time before the Siphon Rules gathering. The issue at hand was obvious to everyone for their fellowship to disintegrate, and the gathering seemed like the finish of it. Now that in the middle between seasons, Katie is considering all that went down during the get-together. Furthermore, she's refreshing fans on the situation with her relationship or deficiency in that department with Lala. Katie as of late showed up on the Not Thin Yet Not Fat digital broadcast to unload season 11 of VPR. She affirmed that she hasn't addressed Lala since recording the gathering. Clearly, she had been holding on to specific sentiments and figuring specific things that I didn't realize she had felt, Katie said of Lala's presentation. Thus, she was saving them for the gathering, which I didn't feel like was really genuine. Lala is the sovereign of calling individuals out for assumed inauthenticity, so that has got to sting. As a rule, Katie doesn't see a future for fixing her fellowship with Lala. When you disregard my trust like that, it's extremely difficult to return from. Trust is really significant to me, Katie made sense of. She added that she feels like she's permitted to have discussions with her companions that aren't for the cameras. However, Lala weaponized that against her to additional her point on the show. So with respect to the ongoing status of the fellowships on VPR, still a flat out wreck. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.